okay, let's figure out how many seconds are in two years. Now, why are we going to do such a problem? It kind of seems like it doesn't really have any practical value. Like, who really cares how many seconds are in two years? Well, we need to understand how to convert units of measure. Okay, This does have tremendous practical value, especially if you are in any kind of science class. But in mathematics in general, you need to know how to convert from one unit to another. All right, So that's why we're going to uh, take this little problem, play around with it, so we can practice these concepts. Now, if you think you can do this, put your answer into the comments section, your correct answer. But uh, the way I would encourage you to approach this is not just get your calculator out and do a bunch of calculations. Put this on paper so you can see the flow of the of your work. Okay, so you can see what you are in fact, um, how you are computing this. Okay, that's really what I'm interested in. But uh, I would suspect I would suspect that most of you out there could come up with an answer. So go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And of course, I'm going to go through all of this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you are having a uh, difficult time with mathematics for whatever reason, maybe you don't think you're good in math, I'm here to tell you that that is not true. Anyone can be very, very good in math. Of course, you have to have the desire. But along with that, you have to have the right instruction. So if you don't feel like you're getting enough instruction or maybe you're not connecting with your teacher's teaching style, I can help you out. I've been teaching math for decades and my style of math is I break things down in simplest, clear and understandable bite-sized pieces so anyone can learn, uh, learn mathematics. So if you're at the middle school, high school or even college level in math, you definitely got to check out my math help program. Now, if you're preparing for any test that has a math section on it, and a lot of you out there are, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, CLEP exam, AccuPlacer, uh, teacher certification exam, I can help you with uh, all those exams, help you prepare and pass those exams so you can pass the first time. Now, if you homeschool, have a fantastic uh, homeschool math curriculum and courses, uh, certainly uh, something that you definitely want to check out. And if you don't have any math notes, you can use mine. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But if you want great grades in math, you have to learn how to take great math notes. Okay, this is a skill. Start working on your notes and you're going to start improving your notes. You're going to see your grades improve. All right, so let's get into this problem. Okay, now uh, I have two versions of this answer. Uh, if you come up with either one of these, it's fine. If your estimate is pretty close to mine, that's fine too. Uh, because when we're talking about months, days, years, we you know there's leap years, and there's different ways we kind of estimate this, but let's just kind of see the general flow. So we're talking about years, right? We want to know how many seconds there are in two years. So we have to think of this problem. It's like, well, I got years. Well, I want to think of the years and how many months are in a year, right? So we're kind of thinking in in uh, different units of measure that we can kind of handle, right? So we're going from years to months, and months we can think about um, uh, months in, in terms of days, and then days we got to think in terms of hours, and then hours we got to think in terms of minutes, and then seconds we can relate to minutes. So we know how many seconds are in a minute, we know how many minutes are in an hour, we know how many hours in a day, we know how many days are in a month, and we know how many months are in a year. So this whole kind of connection is uh, going from one unit to another, all right? So you can see we're going to have to do some, um, you know, decent amount of calculating here. So let's take a look at one year, all right? So here, one year has how many months? So most of us remember that, hey, one year has 12 months in it. Now, uh, how many days are in uh, 12 months? Now, depending on how, what number you want to use, most of us hopefully will pick 365 days. You can use different numbers if you're trying to calculate leap, e leap years or whatnot, but 365 days I think would probably be most people's understanding of how many days are in a 12-month period, one year. Now, how many days, okay, when we have 365 days, how many hours are in that many days? Well, 8,760 hours. So we'd take our 365 and multiply by 24, right? Most of us would see that's what we would do. And then 360, uh, 8,760 8, hours, excuse me, is how many minutes? Well, it's 525,600 minutes. So it took my hours, I multiplied by 60. So I have this many minutes in one year. 
So how many seconds? Well, if I took this answer and I multiplied it by 60, I would get this many seconds. So this is how many seconds are in one year. So the, uh, the question is, how many uh, seconds are in two years? So if one year has this many seconds, just take this answer and multiply it by two. So two years would be around 60, uh, 63,072,000 seconds. Okay, now I have another version of this uh, answer. If you're somewhere pretty close to this, depending on how, you, how many days uh, you use, how you estimated this, that's fine, okay? So if you got this answer, well, then let me go ahead and give you a nice little lovely happy face with a good old 1987 Mohawk, okay? So very, very good. Let me just kind of square away your happy face. But um, anyways, so this is one approach. Now, I really didn't, I kind of lightly talked about, you know, how we went from one unit to another. Let's do this in a more formal way using conversion factors. This is really the kind of thing I want to drive home here. So let's just focus in on various units. So when we're thinking about how many months are in a year, most of us are like, oh, there's 12 months in a year. But let's talk about the conversion factor. So if I want to go from years to months, I already know there's 12 months in a year. Technically, what we're doing is we're multiplying by this conversion factor right here. Oh, I don't want to use green. Uh, let's use yellow. Okay, so right here. So one year, okay, I'm going to multiply by a conversion factor. Now, a conversion factor equates two different units, okay? We're going to make this equal. So 12 months, 12 months, you can see the MO is months, over is the same to one year, okay? This is a conversion factor right here, okay? So 12 months is the same as one year. Now, I can write that this way. I can write this as 12 months is to one year, or I can write this one year is to 12 months. Now, when it comes to conversion factors, this one is equal to this. They're the same. They're, they're uh, um, two versions that we would use. Okay, sometimes we want to use this. Sometimes we want a conversion, conversion factor like this. But basically, 12 months to one year, if I flip it upside down, one year to 12 months, they are equivalent. Okay, but we need to use one of these versions. Okay, now, which one do I want to use? Well, the objective is this. When you have a conversion factor, what you want to do is have these units of measure cross cancel. So you see here years. Okay, this is in a numerator, and I have a year down here in a denominator. And how do we multiply fractions? We multiply across. So really, if we look at this, I'm just going to break this down in its very most simplest way. So we have one year times 12 months over one year, okay? So that's what happens when we multiply fractions. This is uh, over one, okay? So hopefully this makes sense to you. And now I can cross cancel these like factors. This one year will cross cancel with this one year and that leaves me with 12 months, okay? So that's how I, that's how I went from one year is equivalent to 12 months. I multiply by this uh, conversion factor. Now, of course we know that there's 12 months in a year, but this is technically what's going on. Okay, let's practice this again right here. So how many days are in 12 months? Well, we need a conversion factor, and here's one right here. All right, there's 365 days per 12, uh, 12 months. So again, you can see I have my this month's down in a denominator, this month's up in a numerator. So I, these when these cross cancel, okay, these 12, all right, this these 12s here will cross cancel. The month, the units of measure will cross cancel, and I'm left with 365 days are within 12 months. Okay, so 12 months, all right, uh, is equal to 365 days, and that's how these units of measure are going away. The 12 went away, the months went away, the 12 went away, the months went away, and I'm only left with 365 days. Okay, so if I wanted to go from days, how many, um, hours are in 365 days, again, I can just multiply by this conversion factor right here. Okay, I know 24 hours are in one day. I want the day down here because it's going to cross cancel with this day over here. So if I took 365 and multiply by 24, uh, that's how many hours would be in 365 uh, days. Okay. All right. So let's go down here. And do this problem uh, this way. Okay, same problem. We're going to come up with a slightly different result. But again, we're going to go from years to months to days to hours to minutes to seconds. 
All right, so we start off with one year, okay? So how do I, uh, what's the conversion factor from one year to two months? Well, we just talked about it, okay? It's right here, let me actually use a different color. We're gonna take that year and we're gonna we're multiply it by 12 months over one year, okay? That's the conversion factor. Then we're gonna have our months. Then we're gonna go from months to day and let's use this conversion factor. This would give us a slightly different answer, 30 days uh, per one month. Now, we know that some months have 31 days, some months have 28 days, et cetera. So this is gonna give us a slightly different answer, but this is good enough. You get the idea, okay? So from uh, months to day, 30 days in one month normally, most of the time, right? <laughs> well, not really, that's not even true, but let's just call, let's just say that's the case. All right, now, once we have days, how do we go to our next unit? Okay, so here, years cross cancel, I'm left with months, months cross cancel, I'm left with days. So now I wanna go to hours, 24 hours in one day, this is our next conversion factor, days go away, and now I'm left with hours. Okay, so I wanna go to my next uh, unit, which would be minutes, okay? 60 minutes per one hour, okay? Again, I'm focused on these units cross canceling, all right? So hours cross, uh, go away, and I'm left with minutes, and then finally, 60 seconds to one minute, the minutes go away, I'm left with seconds. So if I multiply uh, this one times this 12, right there, that's remaining, this 30, this 24, this 60, and this 60, I would get for one year, okay, I went all the way to seconds. So when you do all this multiplication, you get this many seconds. And you can see 31,104,000 is not quite what we had over here, okay? 31,536,000, but it's pretty close because I estimated on the months, okay? But I just take that and I multiply by two and I would get this answer. So if you got this answer, the other answer, I would say that's correct. But remember, the whole point of this video uh, is to understand conversion factors, okay, and how to work with them. And if you feel like, okay, you got a pretty good understanding, I mean, uh, again, the practical value from going to two years to seconds, you know, that's, you know, uh, really not that practical knowledge, but the, the way we um, go from one unit of measure to another is tremendously important in science and mathematics. And if this video helped you out to some degree, go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.